Hello there, Dr. Mintz, with a great case of something. We'll go through the abdomen and pelvis quickly and back up. Okay. Did you see something? I'll bet you did. Bet you saw something. Let's go back through it here. I'll lighten up the. Oops. Make it a little bit brighter. There we go. Okay, and then here we go down. Okay. All right, I'm betting you see something there. I'm betting that you see it, and this is the GU system, and we're covering ad adrenal glands and kidneys and ureters and bladder and let's see what do you think you see something there right let me give it to you on another plane let's look at these coronal images see how it looks there sometimes coronal images can be very very helpful well I think you see something and you're not sure maybe what it is or what organ it involves But cutting to the chase here, kidneys look okay. Always look at those adrenal glands. There's the left adrenal gland. Where's the right adrenal gland? Oh, maybe that's a little piece of it there, but what's this whole thing here? It's fat. It's a big, fatty tumor. Is it involving the adrenal gland, or is it something else? Well, it's... It doesn't seem like it's coming off the kidney, although it could be hard to tell because it has a sharp interface here, and maybe it could be rising from the kidney. You know that when you have a fatty-containing tumor of the kidney, you think of angiomyolipoma. Angiomyolipoma is what you get of the kidney, but you get something else of the adrenal gland. It's an adrenal myelolipoma. Myelolipoma. It has myeloid elements as if the same constituents as the bone marrow. So this is a subtle and interesting thing because it looks so much like the retroperitoneal fat, just a little more stringy. So is it really fat attenuation? Well, let's see. What do you think the attenuation is that is of that? What are we going to get for our attenuation here? Let's see. Minus. 82 Houndsfield units. So that is definitely fatty. It's a fatty tumor. It looks like it's coming from the adrenal gland. So this is a myelolipoma. You can read about this in your Branton Helms text on page 870, as well as other adrenal masses. And uh, this is about as good a case as you'll ever see, and as big a cat case. And they can get even bigger than this. This, this is pretty big. Looks like it's 8 or 10 centimeters. Uh, they cite that you can get these as large as 13 centimeters. I'm sure they can be, there's really no limit, uh, just a matter of what cases you happen to catch. So this is an adrenal myelolipoma. Look at how the right kidney is kind of displaced inferiorly by it. How do you think this would look like, look on ultrasound? A lot of times fat is very echogenic because it actually has many little interfaces in it. This may be difficult to visualize at all on ultrasound because it may blend in completely with the retroperitoneal fat. It may have a little different architecture and a little different echogenicity, but it could easily be lost in that. And you can well imagine if the only lesion you have is a smaller lesion like this area right here, and that's the only adrenal abnormality, it could be very easily missed on CT. So very important to always check those adrenal glands and think about them. Okay, and what vessel is this? Right renal vein coming into the IVC. Left renal vein coming into the IVC. What is this line? What is that line? Oh, it looks like it's a mesenteric vessel perhaps. Oh, no, look at that. Look at here we have the ureter and it cuts down here, and you see it going down here. 
they're usually easier to follow on axial, but once in a while you can catch them nicely like this. And this looks like a mesenteric vessel. Anatomy is always beautiful, always interesting. No two people are the same. And if you see a vessel going toward the spleen and it's kind of curving like this, it's probably the splenic artery and not the splenic vein, right? The splenic vein is going to be pretty straight and pretty much posterior to the pancreas. Okay, so great case of adrenal myelolipoma. Myelolipoma.